How's it going, everybody? It's Hecklejack playing The Outer Worlds. And for this part, we're going to do some side quest and companion quest. Pravati wants to drink, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, don't think I've been here before. You tell me, I've never been in a bar. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert? Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. I really hope that's not a glitch going on on her face right now. Because that just looks weird. Perception. Are you sure you want to do this? You seem nervous, but... To be fair... You're nervous all the time, it seems. Oh, no, that's just... That's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I've just been lying awake, thinking about what you and Maya said, and... Feeling my heart shake. Okay. You're not much of a drinker. Better start slow. With a beer. Oh! Beer. I guess... Yeah, yeah I can do that. that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Nah. This tastes like the underside of a boo. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain. I'm pining for generally something fierce. Generally or specifically? I'm pounding for generally, generally something fierce. Specifically. Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh. Oh. And I need just with do I? I don't know what to do about us. Shrug. <laughs> Start by telling me why her message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. No one says terrible, vaguely sensible poetry to someone I don't like. Could be you're overthinking it. Well, that's a given, Captain. I can't not worry myself to bits about the things that matter to me. What's she actually writing a message you haven't said? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. And me and Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? <laughs> okay. What is this really about? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain. They're all climbing up my throat. I, I need a drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Let's go get some water. Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink! Okay, maybe you're right. Hydration! Here I come. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Jim Lane all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. 
What about me? Uh, let's just have a row. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she's like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? <laughs> wow, that's a jerk quote. Don't stop there. You're on a roll. There's an easy way to get answers to all these questions. There's nothing easy about, about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not. <sighs> so you're afraid of disappointing her? There you go, your separate ways. Why, just move on? Like, like snapping, snapping your, your fingers? fingers? I don't know. Maybe, Maybe I got a weak heart. It all just seems... impossible. You won't know until you try. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're right. Just, just wish, wish it were that easy, easy, is all. I'm, I'm not used to speaking freely, folks. Back in Edgewater, there wasn't no one who wanted to know my mind. Except in my dad. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Eh, yeah, we all do. Well, I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. So, are you gonna ask her out? Oh gosh, I, I I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Determination. Don't ask my for my pit and believe in yourself. You're still unsure? Yes, just ask her. <laughs> what does the booze tell you? Hmm. I think that she needs to hear this. Okay. I, I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Come on, let's go. And now we head back to the ship. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. Glad to hear it. I wouldn't mind having a drink again. Someday, in the distant future. Anyway, I messaged June Lay when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, 
Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Okay, not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. What the? Uh. <laughs> Sorry, that was a family member calling just now. Anyway. So, Junli does like you. As she said, in the most awkward way possible. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, Miss. <laughs> I ought to go fight her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. But anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. You're welcome. And I leveled up for that. Uh... This should, ha this should be how all games do this stuff forward. Just helping people out. Well, helping out your companions with stuff. And just leveling up for it. It's awesome. Real awesome. Okay. Gonna increase my dialogue skills. And... Yeah, what should I increase next? Um, hmm. Let's increase my tech. Wait, hmm? What's this plus time for? Oh, for the sci science and engineering part. Well, the fact that I used to be in the tech industry. Whatever it's called, I forget. Anyway, nice. Okay. Now for the next quest, the cleaning machine. Which is at the Roseway. I also need to go there because Glass has given me a copy of a distress signal from Kitera 2. So I'd be killing two side quests with one stone. To Terra 2 we go. I picked up this distress call. Can you play it back for me? Yes, Interesting. Thanks. I trust you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. You sleep? Oh, wait. Huh. Oh. Okay. Wait. Oh, 
You want to talk? Sure. This roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. And whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. Do we know anything about who sent the call? What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. Someone needs help, Ellie, and we're going to give it to them. You say so. I'm keeping a finger on the trigger all the same. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. Fair enough. Okay, what do we got here? Insert captain's identification in a re immediate remote landing. Okay. Vending machine discovered. Is this new? Scale. Hmm. What's this? Increase critical damage. Physical armor rating. Hmm. Okay, what about this? Oh, new stuff here too. Okay, I decided to do a few modifications with my weapon. Made this grenade launcher electric type. Well, no, plasma. Forget there's a difference. And, and I made it stronger too, so yeah. That's gotta be nice. And it looks like we got a corpse here. Corporate commander. Huh. Well. Sounds like we're gonna have to face against some big monsters pretty soon. Or should I say animals? Yeah. You're glitchy as heck. And...
Get back through this. Yep, I can. Um, and, oh. Wrapped it on spitter. Well, you'll be my first kill. We got a dead person. Don't mind looting from a dead body. <laughs> okay. Stuff here. If this robot would do something if I steal. Nope. Hmm. That's it, huh? Okay. And another dead person. Assault rifle, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Take a look inside. Hmm. Spectrum vodka. I always appreciate more ammo. Oh, it's just a helmet here. Pih. <laughs> oh, snake skin. What does this say? Terminal property of Auntie Cleo. From administration. Dear sir and or madam, effective immediately all operations in the Rosary Laboratory and outposts have been terminated. Auntie Cleo values your commitment to serving our company and will arrange for your Transportation and relocation to one of the three available Anticleo worker fa factories with the following restrictions. Relocation fees will be deducted from your pay. If your pay is insu insufficient to cover your necessary relocation fees, you may apply for a re relocation fee loan. Approval of loans. Blah, blah, blah. What the heck? Personal files. All personal files have been purged from terminal memory. Huh. Wonder what that means. Yeah. Bunch of corpses here. What's this? Bread noodles? Wrapped it on meat. That's surprised I can't loot from trash cans, you know?
Okay, looks like I explored every nook and cranny of this place. Or is it cranny? I don't know. Let's get inside. And looky here, more corpses. <sighs> Seems everyone was attacked by wildlife. Who are you? I don't have enough of this shit. I'm just, just a fucking tarmac guard. guard. No, no one, one said, said nothing about, about fighting no rats. What happened here? Alarms went off, rats broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Can you tell me who's in charge? Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. You said raps broke loose. Did you have him cased here? Um, forget I said anything about that. Did you send a distress call? Distress call? From here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. <laughs> what? Why not? Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Huh. I'm just going to take a look around. Oh, before I forget. Anti Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Helcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap spacer's choice petals. Hmm. Well then. Can't wait to see what this crap's all about. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.